Hi everybody, Teacher Rob here. Today, let's read a book called The Moon Book by Gail Gibbons. As the sun sets at the end of each day, the sky becomes darker and darker. On many clear nights, our moon shines brightly in the night sky. Our moon is the brightest and biggest light in our night sky. It outshines all the stars and planets, which appear as small points of light. Some planets have many moons. Earth has one. A star burns gases that give off heat and light. The sun is a star. A planet reflects sunlight and revolves around the sun. Earth is a planet. Our moon looks big and bright because it is so close to Earth compared to the faraway stars and planets. It is about 238,900 miles or 384,000 kilometers away. The moon makes no light of its own to shine. It is bright in the night sky because it reflects the sun's light. It is about one-fourth the size of Earth. It is made up of rock and dust. There is no air or sign of life. The moon is about 2,000 miles or 3,220 kilometers in diameter and about 6,800 miles or 10,948 kilometers around. Earth is about 8,000 miles or 12,880 kilometers in diameter and about 25,000 miles or 40,250 kilometers around. Most scientists and astronomers think our moon formed about 4.5 billion years ago. Some believe something collided with Earth that tossed out a cloud of rock and debris. While orbiting around the Earth, the rock and debris came together to form the Moon. Astronomers study the planets, their moons, and the stars. An orbit is the path of one object around another. In ancient times, people thought the moon was a powerful god or goddess. The Romans called their moon goddess Diana. In Greece, the moon goddess was Selene, who rode through the sky in a silver chariot. Some American Indian tribes believed the moon and sun were brother and sister gods. Stories and legends were told about the shapes and shadows that show on the moon's surface. Some people said the moon showed a man's face, man in the moon, who was imprisoned there for stealing. Others told of moon demons living there. The moon is Earth's only natural satellite. It takes about one month for the moon to travel around the Earth. A satellite is an object orbiting around a larger object. The moon makes one complete rotation for each complete trip around Earth. Thus, the same side of the moon is always facing Earth. The moon appears to change shape, but it doesn't. The different shapes we see are called phases of the moon. We are seeing different amounts of light being reflected on the moon. 
How much light we see depends on positions of Earth, Moon, and Sun. Phases of the Moon New Moon During a new moon, the moon is almost directly between the Sun and the Earth. The moon looks dark. We see no reflected light. Crescent Moon The moon is waxing when the lit surface we see is getting bigger. In a few days, a bit of the sunlit side of the moon shows. It forms a crescent. First Quarter Moon When the moon is a quarter of its way around the Earth, it is in its first quarter phase. We see it as half-lit. It is sometimes called a half-moon. Gibbous Moon when the moon is waxing between a first quarter moon and a full moon, it is called a gibbous moon. Full moon. About two weeks have passed since the new moon. Now the entire face of the moon we see shines. Gibbous moon. The moon is waning when the lit surface we see is getting smaller. When the moon is waning between a full moon and last quarter moon, it is a gibbous moon once again. Last quarter moon. When the moon is three quarters of its way around Earth, it is in its last quarter phase. Again, we see it as half lit. It is sometimes called a half moon. Crescent moon. Once again, we see a small sliver of moon shining in the sky. New Moon It takes the moon about one month to go through its entire set of phases. People used to know the time of the month by watching the moon phases. Solar Eclipse The moon's orbit around Earth is usually tilted slightly compared to Earth's orbit around the Sun. Because of this, the Moon cannot exactly line up between the Sun and Earth. But when the Moon's orbit is not tilted, and the Moon lines up exactly between the Sun and Earth, a solar eclipse happens. The Moon's shadow falls on Earth. A solar eclipse can last up to seven and one-half minutes. A Solar Eclipse Project Here's how to make a sun projector to see a picture of a solar eclipse. Poke a pin through the center of a piece of heavy paper that is a little bigger than this book. Stand with your back to the sun. Hold the projector at your shoulder so sunlight shines through the hole. Hold another piece of heavy paper in your other hand. This is your screen. Move both papers until an image of the eclipse appears on the screen. Warning! Never look directly at a solar eclipse. The sun's rays can hurt your eyes. Lunar Eclipse When the sun, earth, and moon are exactly lined up, a lunar eclipse happens. As in a solar eclipse, the moon's orbit is not tilted. The Earth blocks off sunlight that usually lights up the moon. The moon has a reddish glow. Lunar comes from luna, the Latin word for the moon. A lunar eclipse can last up to three and one half hours. The moon affects the oceans too. The moon's pull, called gravity, on the oceans is strong enough to cause tides. Tides are the daily rising and falling of the ocean's waters. A high tide happens about every 13 hours. This is because the moon takes about 25 hours to come back to the same place in the sky it was the night before. The tide differences vary around the world. A low tide happens about every 13 hours. 
Some night sky gazers and astronomers can get a close-up view of the moon by looking through binoculars. Others look through telescopes. Some huge telescopes are used at observatories. A close-up view of the moon's surface shows dark patches astronomers call plains or seas. Other areas are covered with craters, mountains, and valleys. The moon's craters were formed between 3.5 and 4.5 billion years ago, when meteors pounded its surface. For centuries, people have wanted to know more about our moon. In 1959, the Soviet spacecraft Luna 3 transmitted to Earth the first pictures of the far side or back of the moon. There aren't as many dark areas on that side as on the side we see from Earth. In 1961, President John F. Kennedy made a commitment to put Americans on the moon before the end of the decade. At first, many American unmanned spacecraft were sent. Pictures were taken. Then Surveyor 1 landed on the moon in 1966. It sent back information about the moon's surface. The first manned orbit of the moon was made by Apollo 8 astronauts in 1968. On July 20th, 1969, Neil Armstrong and Edwin Buzz Aldrin of the Apollo 11 mission became the first men to walk on the moon. There were five more Apollo landings on the moon. The last one, Apollo 17, was in 1972. The astronauts did experiments and gathered samples. Scientists and astronomers were able to learn more about the history and nature of our moon. On a clear night when the moon is in the sky, gaze up at it. We are still learning more about our closest neighbor, the moon. Thanks for watching everybody. See you next time.